When I created this atelier, I really strive to make something different and make it a very special New York experience. Brides have such fun when they come to the Bride Atelier. Mark has created such a warm and inviting atmosphere. The salon is an extension of what's important to Mark. I have great respect for him. I admire him. He is so highly regarded within the bridal industry. And he's a man of integrity. And again, that shows through in his salon and really how he runs the business. When I was a kid in the 60s, uh, my grandparents took me shopping at some of the finest stores in Manhattan along Fifth Avenue. And it was all about customer service in those days. And that experience to me was, was so ingrained in me growing up that I felt that it would be so great to have an atelier in New York City that gave that kind of a personalized way of working with customers, making them feel very, very special, especially for a wedding occasion, which is the ultimate special occasion for a young woman to have. In one word, I would have to say it was fantastic. And they think that because they know exactly what they're doing and because they're so confident that they just like to be able to have a good time with it. I was totally relaxed, very comfortable, and extremely confident that I was getting the perfect dress. People want to feel a sense of customer service above and beyond. You know, it's just not important to have, you know, just to find the gown. It's how that entire experience goes. I enjoyed every moment here, and they really get to know you. You know, Mark's really great at, at selecting different designers that you may not see everywhere. When they walk into the bridal atelier, they know it's Mark Ingram's bridal atelier, but they don't realize how hands-on Mark is. I've loved brides since I was a child, so to, to have an atelier in Manhattan and work with these beautiful dresses and lovely customers is, is a dream come true for me. What's beautiful about Mark is he's not afraid to take a chance, to go with the bold gown, to go with a gown that has a little different, interesting detail. To most people are shocked and say, oh my God, that's different, but that's the one that ends up being the one that people love. Most of the comments that we get from brides are, you're not going to find gowns here in other salons. I call it second home for me, and that's what I find in here. I also consider brides who I meet, my extended family as well, because it's their stories which makes me to think about love. Every morning in the little room, I hear the most beautiful stories about other person they love, they can't wait to marry. I mean, it's, you want to have a dream life? You come here. Lydia was my consultant, and her warmth from the start was just inevitable. To be honest, what I came in here actually looking for, thought I was looking for, is something different than I walked out with. So she really captured who I was and what would look best on me, and I just I had a fabulous experience with her. I feel so very fortunate to have some of the best sales consultants, I think, in the industry working for me at my salon. They're knowledgeable, they're sophisticated, they're warm, professional, friendly, and that's all really key. We are the eyes and the ears for what brides are looking for. It is a family atmosphere here and one of constant, quiet professionalism. I feel like a priority, my bride feels like a priority, and I know that my requests and concerns are always taken seriously. Mark's um, consultants work one-on-one -on -one with a bride, really, from beginning to end. Um, they're paired together, and the consultant almost operates more as a stylist, starting with the dress, but then working with the entire look and the accessories, everything from the veil to possible jewelry to even the shoes and the undergarments. They are experts when it comes to tailoring and final touches. I think it's definitely a pride of the salon because this is what they do. They tailor wedding dresses every day of the week, so they know the ins and outs of these dresses probably better than half the designers. So when they fit them, they fit like a glove. My fitters are a remarkable bunch of women who I've worked with for quite a number of years as well. My fitter made me feel like she had all day for me. She put extra hooks in the day of in case the size had changed or anything. So she had thought of every contingency plan that could happen she was prepared for. Her. There really is no sort of formula that we, that we operate here. It really takes its cues from the personalities of my employees, I think, and of myself. I think a bridal gown selection is a very, very personal experience. Consultants are really trained to find the best dress for you, in their opinion, one that you feel comfortable with within your budget, within your body type, within your venue, and that's how we operate here at the salon. It's really not about a high-pressure situation, but more about finding the right dress for you. The dress just embodied the day. Of course the place is selected, you know, before you look at your dress, but once you pick the dress, it kind of 
gives you an idea of what your day was gonna be like from the start to the finish. I had the opportunity to be on the Martha Stewart show and he actually helped myself with a sort of gown makeover. It was such an amazing experience to come to the atelier and it just made the whole experience really happy. I brought a bride here early spring. She wanted to go to, you know, at least four or five different locations. And I said, well, we're gonna start at Mark Ingram. She tried on three or four gowns and Mark said, excuse me for one minute. He came back holding a gown. He said, just put this gown on. And she's like, okay. Walks out, tears. I love this gown. I think the brides come in the salon thinking they want one thing, but ultimately may leave wanting another because they've been exposed to something bigger than what they thought they would be. Part of what we do is really look to take a gown, pulling in those different elements to take it from being, here's a gown that, you know, 500 brides can wear and then making it that one special unique gown for that one person. My dress was uh, Monique Lillier. It was a strapless dress, mermaid shape. Everyone at my wedding just commented on that they love my dress and they'd never seen a dress like that before. So I was really happy with it. And he carries, I think, the best of the best. He offers traditional classic pieces to more modern fashion forward gowns. So he appeals to a wide range of brides. I feel very comfortable working with my designers to tweak certain things, make them special for my store, give them a little direction as to what my bride really wants, that a lot of them are open to listening to the comments that, that I make, that my staff makes. I feel that we're a very knowledgeable group, having worked with brides one-on-one -on -one and for so many years. It's very important that we also create special things for the salon. I go to market twice a year and buy off the line, off the collection, but I also work with a lot of designers to create special things that are exclusive for my store, that address my customers' needs and keep the taste level and the fashion fullness of the store exactly where I want it to be. I absolutely loved both of my dresses. I felt so comfortable in them. I loved all the accessories that uh, we selected to go with them, and I wish I could get married all over again to the same man and just do it again because it was so much fun. It really is just really incredible. My family was very fashionable and continues to be very fashionable. They love clothes. My grandparents and great-grandparents lived in Harlem during the Harlem Renaissance period and, and loved to be elegant and sophisticated. And it's evident in the photographs that are left as a legacy that actually I have hanging in my salon. I had fittings for clothes on Saturdays. So I had the family, it's my parents, and it's the upbringing that I had that helped me get to where I am today. His two loves, I think, are really family and fashion, and he's blended the two. And that shows through in everything about the salon, and I think that he approaches his business and certainly the consultants, his staff, the same way he regards everyone as part of his family. The service is amazing, very luxurious, and incredibly personal. Everyone walks out and says it was an amazing experience. It's not about quantity with Mark, it's about the quality of the experience and the quality of the dress. I want brides to always remember that choosing a dress really isn't about just choosing the dress. It's not a one-time, one-day, one-hour situation. It's becoming familiar with the salon that you buy your dress in, with the salesperson who has advised you. It's a relationship that you build. I want the brides to leave here feeling that they were listened to, that they were serviced professionally, that they walk away with a once in a lifetime experience that they can tell friends about and recommend us. Mark Ingram's Bridal Atelier is unique because of its unparalleled service with brides and it's more than just the process of finding a dress. I met Mark during my first fitting and I remember thinking, wow, you know, Mark Ingram's at my fitting, how special. And he just looked at the dress and he had actually never seen the dress that I had in the ivory color. And he was just so stunned by the way the dress looked and he thought it was so beautiful. It just made me feel like every dream that I had hoped for in this dress was, was true, that this is the reaction that I was gonna get from the crowd at the wedding, and it, and it certainly was. They're astounded that he is here as often as he is. They love getting Mark's opinion, and he loves it. He's a stylist himself. He loves working with the bride. I mean, personalized service is really, I think, everything when it comes to purchasing a wedding dress. I grew up at a time when the salons and the stores in New York City offered a tremendous amount of service to clients, whether they were brides or not, and that impression that I had as a child is stuck with me the rest of my life.